Many of you won't know who Manulife is, so I just want to give you a snapshot of the business. We've been in Asia 118 years, 60,000 agents, 100 bank partnerships, and we make one billion US dollar profit per year. Not revenue, profit. In short, you'd think that's a good business, but we know we have to change. Consumer and customer behavior is making us realize that what we've done here is not going to be relevant in the future. For the life insurance industry, which make billions of dollars of profits per year, we have negative 32 NPS score as a whole across the industry. And therefore, we know that we are at a latent friction point, that if we continue with that customer satisfaction, that's going to allow disruptors into our, our game. So what we are doing now is we're in the business of creating a wow experience. We don't want to just follow others in our industry or follow banks. We want to become the apple of insurance. So how are we going to do that? It comes down to really three simple things. An aligned business model. Customers don't care about channel conflict. They want us to provide a aligned business model for when they interact, regardless of what channel, we're able to provide them the same experience an experience which actually allows them to feel the Manulife brand overall. Product complexity has to go out the window. Solution complexity has to go out the window. Your average customer wants a simplified product, an understanding of the complex in a way that they can understand it. It's not a one-size-fits-all product solution, unfortunately, moving forward. It's not a one-size-fits-all servicing model in the future. Customers need to feel control, and we have to offer that. We have to be much more personalized in the future. Generic content marketing, generic servicing, customers aren't going to want that. We need to be telepathic in understanding what our customers want and why they want it and when they need it. We have probably more data than anyone else, uh, our industry as a whole. If you can actually use that imagination of that data with external data, we can do some amazing things in regards to providing personalized advice, as well as advice which can help improve your life in order for you to achieve your dreams and aspirations. It's all very well talking about it, but we realized we had to kickstart the revolution. And we came up with a new concept. It's called Manulife Move. In short, it's become a member of Manulife, buy us new product, wear us Fitbit or MyFit, move as often as you can, and we will give you discounts. If you walk 5,000 steps, you're going to get 5% discount. If you walk 10,000 steps, you're going to get a 10% discount. If you walk 15,000 steps, you're going to get 15% discount. Genius, simple. It's what our customers had asked for. They wanted to be rewarded for wellness, that they were fit individuals, and they wanted to be rewarded for it. And they also wanted to be rewarded for providing us their data. That latent friction point we started to see, we decided to act on it. Over 30% more sign-ons. We've penetrated a segment which is traditionally exclusively hard in life insurance, the under 35s, to buy this product. We've attracted new customers. But the brand impact and brand awareness has been amazing. From start to finish, from idea, to the delivery of the product and app, six weeks. In the impact now, we're rolling out move across all our Asia markets. So it's in the Philippines, coming to Thailand soon, and coming to a number of other marketplaces. But it's gave us the confidence that this new way of working, this new way of thinking, is the only way to go. So in summary, Manulife is going to be a real change agent in our industry. We're very confident about where we're going to be going. And really, the message to, to all of you is, Take the risk. Even if you're successful, you have to change. Because if you don't change, people will come in and change for you. And the exciting thing with Manulife is showcased if you are willing to do things quickly, you're willing to actually take the boldness, then you can do some epic awesomeness.